Hey everyone, Ava Pala here, and today we're going to be looking at Bandai's Dragon Star series, Ultra Instant Goku. This is a pretty cool guy, he's got silver hair, and you see he has extra hands, and there's a big hand here because he comes with build-a-piece part for Broly. And if you look on the side, you just get a little window, you get a picture of him, and on the back you see a bunch of figures, and this is uh, Series 7. So we can see at the top, Ultra Instinct Goku, Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Gohan. If you look here, this will show you what pieces come with what characters. So there's a Vegeta, he comes with Part 1, Super Saiyan Goku, or Super Saiyan Gohan 2, Ultra Instinct Goku 3, Vegito 4, Future Trunks 5, and Goku Black 6. And over here it shows you which piece goes, or what number goes to what piece for Super Saiyan Broly. Now I'm only missing Vegeta. And Super Saiyan Gohan, of course, number one and number two. Now, once I get those, I'll do a video of uh, putting him together and everything. So, let's get this open and uh, take a close look. All right, so here is out of the package. But first, let's go over the accessories and everything. So, we got the big burly arm here. See, it comes with a little jewel or whatever on his, I can't remember, the gauntlet or whatever wristband uh -uh. but this is going to be his right arm it has a fist on it we can take that off hmm. well that's interesting the whole piece came out that's uh gonna make things difficult i don't think it's supposed to do that oh boy well so yeah uh that's not gonna come we have to get some pliers or something to get that out with but yeah, normally you were just with the other hand. But yeah, this one doesn't have a nub. <laughs> and the nub came out with the hand. So I guess he's going to, he might just hold a fist forever. I don't know. Now this Goku came with extra set of hands. And they're both just open palm. Now let's see if these go in right. That comes off easy enough. And there we go. Not bad. Didn't have to force it or anything. Alright, so for Ultra Instinct Goku here, he has the same mold as Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. The only thing different is the mouth. His is open while this one is closed. But even the hair, everything is the same. Same tears and the same spots. So I think that's cool how they kept it, you know, the continuity of it all the same. Ugh, my tongue is getting in the way of everything I'm trying to say now. Ugh. So I like this guy because he has the silver hair. Even his eyebrows are silver. And then he has little black eyes there. Oh, well, you guys see that. So yeah, he has a couple uh, rips on his clothes. Uh, he's missing his top half, obviously. You can see how it's all cut up down here. Then we got a tear on the side of the leg. We got another one at the bottom. We got this one here on the knee area. Nothing on the back. Isn't that cool? And he has his, you know, traditional orange gi pants. You can see here he has the blue undershirt. And he has blue for the wrist. And then a blue belt. And then his feet, dark blue with a yellow rope going around and the red trim. Alright, so the first time Goku goes into the Ultra Instinct form would be during the Tournament of Power. And that's at the end of Dragon Ball Super show. Now, in the manga, it's gone on. Uh, he's had run-in with Mauro. Mauro, is that how you pronounce it? Probably. I don't know. And then he has uh, the fight that he's currently on, which is against Gas, I want to say. I could be wrong. I think it's Gas. I, I know there was Granola and Gas. Yeah, Granola he was fighting first, but Granola, I think, is coming around to be on his side. So now it's them against Gas, trying to figure out how to defeat him. I just like this figure. Now, if you take off the waist, you can actually take off the little clothing part here that's all ripped up. So you can actually have him almost look like a... Like he just got tight. He just ripped the whole thing off. He's like, ah... I don't need that now. Let me just pop it right back on. 
And there we go. All right, so let's talk about articulation. So his head will spin around. He can't really look up. That's as far. He can go down. And then up would be like normal. Now it looks like the neck should move. I mean, it has a little bit of give to it, but... Mm, then he can't really go side to side either. Alright, so we go down. No. His arm goes past 90, which is really cool. I like it when they have all that flexibility. And then it'll go around. We got the bicep area that can twist. We have double jointed elbows. Look at that. Good bend. I got the hand that'll spin around. And it has a little flip flap action. We got the waist. Now the only thing the waist can do is go around. It can't side to side or anything like that. And we got the legs. Mm, it's like a 90. But if you go forward, you can do that. Back. But that's if you kind of have it go out to the side like that. I hate when figures do that. I wish it could just go back normal. But you can't because the uh, posterior won't allow it to go. And we got the knees also double jointed. And only 90. Then we got the feet. That will spin around. And oop, that came right off. And it's got the flip flap. So I really like this figure, uh, even though. Pretty much almost the same as uh, his buddy here. But I mean, I like having him on the shelf. I have him actually all in a row. So I've been waiting to open him. I don't know why. Uh, I should have opened him a long time ago. But now he'll go on the very end of the shelf. I have only ones I'm missing. I actually have the uh, Goku, plain Goku from Dragon Star series. I haven't opened it yet because I have the SH Fig Arts one, but I'm still going to open it and then do a review and put him maybe behind the SH Fig Arts one. I'm not sure. Uh, I have all, I just wish, I don't think they have a Super Saiyan 4 yet. I could be wrong. Maybe I just overlooked it. I have a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but I'd like to have a Super Saiyan 4 Goku to fit right in there. I mean, I don't know why they'd have a Vegeta and not a Goku, but whatever. I just love looking at them on the shelf. All right, well, let's just bring my review of Bandai's Dragon Star series, Ultra Instant Goku. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.